Hello everyone, welcome to a new video in this section called Solving Problems in My Farm. My name is Carla Garcia, Horto America's Technical Service, and today we are going to have a class for beginners. If you're just starting with hydroponics, this video is for you. As we know, a lot of people use YouTube in order to check how to do a hydroponic system at home. So today we're going to show you a very basic hydroponic system for growing leafy greens, and you are going to help us to make the transplant of our lettuce. We have been growing lettuce in our vertical farm. So right now here is the germination area. Uh, these uh, seedlings, they have about uh, three weeks old and we are going to move them from uh, the transplant section to the final growing section, which is our basic hydroponic system. In Horton Americas, we manage different products, but one of the most important products that we manage is the substrate that is used for germination of leafy greens. So today we want to show you the difference between a low quality substrate and a high quality substrate. So usually for hydroponics, we germinate in these kind of sponges um, and there are different qualities. So in here, I have a small plant very, very sad plant in here. And now this is a low quality uh, substrate that is cheap, but however, uh, the germination is not very good for this one. So you can see in here, there are no, there are no roots coming out from this. And uh, it, this lettuce has been germinating from long time in this substrate. So what I want to show you from here is that if you are a hobby grower, you need to find a good product because you are learning and you need to have good results. Otherwise, you know, you get disappointed. Um, so in order to reduce your frustration learning in this journey on how to do hydroponics at home, you need to find the correct product. So today I'm going to show you the germination for uh, leafy greens in Groda, which is Rockwell. So here we have different kind of leafy greens, but today we want to transplant this lettuce in here. So you can see in here that uh, the lettuce looks a lot bigger and uh, I'm going to pull out one of these so you can see also the root development. So it's very different the root development that you will have from uh, like low quality uh, sponge substrate that is used for germination in comparison to rockle. So now I'm going to show you uh, the difference between two plants that are grown on different substrate. So in this case, we have like a regular uh, sponge substrate and here we have a rubble. So these two plants were seeded on the same date and uh, they are in great conditions. I mean, this is a microgreens room. Uh, we have the environment uh, that the plants requires. We have the nutrient solution for the leafy greens um, and you can see the difference. So the growth is very different. The root development is very different. So you can see in here a plant that is strong and is now ready to be transplanted. In this case, we have a plant that is elongated uh, and uh, that is, I mean, the roots that are not like very good on development. I mean, this cannot be used for transplanting. So this is the kind of frustrations that you sometimes can get when you don't have a good quality substrate. So this is the difference between two plants, same condition, just different substrate. So now we're going to take all the plants that we uh, germinate on Rockwell and we are going to transplant these to a homegrown hydroponic system. So here we have a hydroponic tower that can be used at home for growing different kind of leafy greens. Of, of course, this kind of setup is only recommended for hobby growers. I mean, if you are doing this commercially, there are other options of uh, hydroponic systems that you can use, but this is a very basic system, easy to do that you can have at home. So let me start explaining uh, the parts of the hydroponic system. So first we have a just normal bucket and here we have a pump. So this is 127 volts and regular bucket. And then we have in here, so this is our tower, which is uh, made with PVC tube. In here, we have different holes and uh, we have the nest that is used for hydroponic uh, plants. So in here, uh, you can place the transplant. So today we're going to move the lettuce that we have on the vertical farm to uh, the final growing system, which is this one in here. If you have questions about how a hydroponic tower works, here I'm going to show you how is the setup for this uh, tower to function. So at the, at the bottom of the bucket, we have the pump in here, and we are going to use smaller PVC tubes like this one. So here, I'm going to put this on the pump and then this go to the bottom. So now we're going to cover the bucket with this lid and this is for the tower. 
So I'm going to place this in here. And how this works, we are going to turn on the pump. And once that we have the nutrient solution on the bucket and the pump is functioning, uh, we are going to have water coming uh, from the bucket through the tube. And then it will go out, of course, here. Here it will go out. But in here, you can see how we have this cover in here. So when the water come out, then it will make like a fountain inside. And we are going to have water going through inside of the tube. So in order to complete the hydroponic system, I'm going to place this inside of the tube. Right here. And then I have the other section. And this is still open at the top, so I need to place this on top in order to close the system. And then we can use the nets for placing our transplant inside. So now we'll be time to fill out the bucket with the nutrient solution and turn on the pump. And once we have everything ready, I mean, you, you need to check out uh, the pH and also the electrical conductivity of your nutrient solution. And once you are uh, running the hydroponic tower, then the nutrient solution will move from the bucket to the top of this system and then will fall down and uh, will make the substrate be uh, with enough moisture so the plant can continue growing. So now I have this system running and you can see in here how the water is moving inside of the tube. And here with the nest, we have enough space for uh, the substrate to be covered with the nutrient solution. So now we need to leave uh, our lettuce here and depending on our cultivar, uh, the lettuce will spend in here like three weeks, four weeks, depending on uh, the kind of cultivar that you are growing. When you're growing plants at home, it's very important to understand that you need to take care of them. You need to keep track of the variables, environmental variables like temperature, humidity, and inside of the bucket, you need to measure electrical conductivity and also pH. The pH for leafy greens, we want to maintain something around 5.5 to 6. And uh, for the electrical conductivity, you should maintain uh, the electrical conductivity between 1.6, 1 1.8. 1 uh, it will depend on the environment, but that's the general range that we recommend for lettuce and leafy greens. In order to do this, you will need sensors. Uh, so this is an example of a sensor. This is the conductivity pen uh, from Blue Lab. Uh, there is also another pen that you can use to measure pH. So those are different sensors. Uh, Blue Lab has a lot of options. You can also get one sensor that can measure both variables. Uh, you can find them available in a website. Also, in order to provide the nutrients to your plants, you will need a nutrient solution, which is also available in the Hort America's website. This is an excellent nutrient solution that is used for uh, hobby growers and also uh, large scale pores. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you know a little bit more about hydroponics. I will make another video in order to explain a little bit more about uh, all the variables that you need to check and how to do the nutrient solution, for example, that will be a good video. So stay tuned and please uh, subscribe if you want to keep learning about hydroponic at home.